What's up, Capital? Hey, it's Friday. I'm driving around. I want to send you this quick video uh, and recap some of the things that we talked about this past Wednesday, as well as talk about how we're going to be using YouTube more and more in the Capital moving forward and how you guys can be a part of it. Cool. So let's start with this past Wednesday night. Uh, for those of you guys that were there, what we did is we took a purposeful trip down the YouTube vortex uh, and looked at some videos that we can take uh, that helped us study our faith and learn some of the things we've been talking about with the apologetic series that we've called Christian. Um, I want to kind of do a rundown of what the videos we showed and where you can watch the full videos. Uh, a lot of you guys were asking for that as well as give you guys maybe some more of the links that a lot of those videos referenced books or other authors or resources and so uh, I'm gonna link those down below and you guys can follow along. So the first one we talked about was a documentary by a guy named Ben Stein called Expelled that should be right here. Uh, we showed the first basically the first 10 minutes and then the last little interview and I encouraged you guys to go ahead and go back and watch the 90 minute video. Uh, really cool how they kind of parallel the falling of the Berlin Wall from history with uh, his attempts to bring down the wall that separates Darwinism or evolution versus intelligent design and creationism. And so if those terms are a little bit confusing, let me kind of break those down really quick. Darwinism or evolution, all of those things are basically saying that there is no God, that there is no designer of life, that it just kind of happened through uh, Big Bang Theory, spontaneous uh, evolution by chance or somehow through science uh, as Christians we obviously believe in creationism that there is a creator uh, and that creator is the God of the Bible that re we read about and talk about and worship uh, intelligent design is somewhere in between it's a little bit more of a hands-off approach they're not necessarily saying that it's the God of the Bible or the Christian God. They're simply saying that it's intelligent design, that there's some form of higher being, higher power that created life. And so for us, we, we are kind of in the intelligent design party, and then we take it one step further, obviously with our biblical knowledge saying that it's God. And so what that documentary does, it just says, hey, why are we not at least exploring intelligent design in our public school system? Why is it only Darwinism and uh, evolution? And so it's a really interesting document. Take a look at that. The, what was the next video? I'm trying to think. And so the second video we watched was from a guy named the One Minute Apologist, should be right here. Uh, what he does on his channel is he takes some interviews from some of the top known apologists and it basically interviews them and gives you one to two minute snippets, kind of whetting your appetite for certain heavy topics. Hopefully, hope. Nope, can't talk. Hoping that you're gonna explore this a little bit more. And so the video we showed was this idea of, the Old Testament talks a lot about the soon coming savior, the Messiah. And they make a lot of predictions about what he's gonna do, where he's gonna come from, what he's gonna be like. And so the, one of the major questions is, is Jesus that person? And so he kind of takes a look at that and basically shows in through scriptures that yes, uh, not only did he Jesus fulfill a few of those, he fulfilled all of them. It's pretty incredible. And so uh, he has a lot of really cool videos. I'll link those up as well. Um, he also talked a lot about um, Josh McDowell, some other books, and his channel is really good. I'll link some of those books down below as well. The third video we showed right here talked about the resurrection and some of the major theories that people try to use regarding the resurrection to disprove Christianity because Paul said if Jesus wasn't raised from the dead then our faith is useless and so a lot of people that are against Christianity will use that verse to try to disprove the resurrection therefore disproving Jesus and our entire faith. Uh, this video is really cool it's the whiteboard video I'll link up the channel down below as well uh, but they did a really good job kind of saying kind of some of the major holes in some of the theories that people try to use to poke at uh, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, but none of them really hold any water. And we know that Jesus not only lived on earth, but died for our sins and resurrected from the dead so that we could have eternal life. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, their channel is really interesting as well. 
they do some whiteboard videos and a lot of practical how-tos in the faith, uh, stuff on how to read the Bible, some of the other major, uh, how do we know the Bible's true, stuff like that. And so I really recommend you check out that video as well. And so the last video we watched was from a guy named Cameron McAllister, uh, who actually spoke at the Capitol at our Norcross location a few weeks back. And one of the students asked this question, basically, uh, in the Old Testament, God seems kind of harsh and wrathful. And in the New Testament, God seems very loving and kind and merciful. What's up with that? And so he did a beautiful job kind of explaining that. Um, but before that question, he did an entire message about uh, God, sin, and salvation. And so the entire video is worth a look. I'll link it up here. Um, it's also in our channel, and so you can check that out as well. Um, which brings me to uh, kind of our YouTube channel. And so what we're going to be doing with that, um, we've been recording our Wednesday night services. What we want to do is start recording uh, some of your stories as well as do some other stuff, training you guys and equipping you guys and giving you a little bit more content, not only for you, but for you to be able to share with your friends. And so here's where we need your help. Uh, one, we need subscribers, so take a second, subscribe right now. We'd really appreciate that. Uh, the reason we're asking you to do that is we need to get a lot of subscribers before they let us get our own YouTube channel and URL, which helps us get out the word even better and more effectively, and so please do that. Also, um, we want you guys to be able to share some of this content with some of your friends. Maybe they won't come to the Capitol on a Wednesday night, uh, but they'll watch a video of a story and a testimony of how God changed their life through the Capitol, um, or maybe uh, just some other fun content that maybe, they, maybe you can share with them to help them in their faith. And so if you have any ideas, uh, fun or serious or goofy or whatever it is, we'd love to hear from you. And so please comment down below or let us know on Wednesday nights some of the ideas that you might have. And let us know if you're interested, if you love filming or editing or lighting or want to learn any of those skills or you want to be a YouTuber, we would love your help. And so uh, comment below, check us out on Wednesday nights, follow us on social media at Capital VHM, and we'll see you soon.